Today on Personal Finance Mondays, we're going to be looking at two things. First, the stimulus check, and second, the unemployment and how much longer that's going to last. Stick around to the end so that we can see how you can continue to make enough to cover all your bills, even during a global pandemic. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Tyler from The Rideshare Guy. Today on Personal Finance on Mondays, we're going to be talking about stimulus checks and unemployment and how long we have to wait on each of those. So first, let's take a look at the stimulus check. The first thing that you should know that the first round of stimulus checks, if you did not already submit to get that direct deposited or mailed to you, it's too late. The final day to submit was on November 21st, 2020. So as of today, uh, you're a few days late. Um, if whenever you're watching this video, you're gonna be really late on it, but that doesn't necessarily mean you won't get it. So uh, hold on for a minute. We'll explain how you might still be able to get it. Now, looking at the next stimulus uh, package that we might be able to get a stimulus payment, um, there's still a lot going on that we don't know. We don't know exactly when we're going to get it, if we're going to get it. So there's really three different kind of plans that are going on right now. So across the board, whether Republican or Democrat, everyone agrees that we need some sort of stimulus package, stimulus payment that's going to go out to help the economy, help people who are suffering during this pandemic. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is the Republicans uh, offer. So they have a $500 million plan that unfortunately doesn't include a stimulus payment to individuals, but this would cover things like unemployment to make that go a little bit longer um, and things like that, such as food assistance and, and things to help people. So it won't be a specific stimulus payment that would be coming, but it would be helping with all the other things that the economy needs. So it wouldn't give us our, our $1,200 again, but it would be able to uh, help us, especially if we've been collecting unemployment for a while. The second is the Democratic plan, which is a $2.2 trillion plan, which definitely includes the stimulus package or the stimulus payment for each individual. So it'd be $1,200 that I'm sure all of us would uh, need at this point and be able to put to good use. So that plan would also include all of the other things. So unemployment, child care, food assistance, all those things. Now that plan has been submitted, but it was rejected. And another one was given a counter offer that's 1.8 trillion from the White House. Now this also includes the stimulus payment. So all of these uh, do make sure that we're still getting that stimulus payment other than the, the Republican plan. But as of right now, with all the talks, most of them do include that $1,200 plan. With the new president being elected, let's take a look at this screenshot that shows exactly what uh, he's per, um, planning on doing as well. We see here in this article it says Biden's plan, like the one Trump has backed, will include more direct stimulus payments. So that means that it's very likely that we're going to get the stimulus payment pay, payments coming to us as soon as possible. So it's hopefully going to be coming sooner rather than later. But unfortunately, with everything going on, the different elections uh, and trying to get it passed through this Congress or next Congress, we're not sure when. Um, we're going to talk about it in a minute, um, several different possibilities. We have a little chart that shows different possibilities of when we could get our next stimulus payment. Um, so we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Before we get into that, let's tie unemployment into it. Right now, unemployment is set to cancel or stop for those who it hasn't already stopped for just after Christmas. The day after Christmas is the last day that unemployment payments, the $300 that people are still getting, are going to be made. So right now, as of that date, no more payments will be made. Again, if the stimulus package passes, then that could get extended for a little bit further. Uh, we're not sure when that's going to happen or if that's going to happen, but we're pretty sure it will with everybody working together to try to get it to happen. So now let's take a look at that little chart that shows when we could possibly get the stimulus uh, payment. But also, if that goes into play, we'll also be able to get extended unemployment payments as well. So looking at that chart, the earliest possible date that we could get another round of stimulus checks is December 11th. So that's if the House passes the final bill. So that is the absolute best case scenario is December 11th. However, if if you look at that chart, some of these doesn't see us getting the f next payment until April 4, 5th of next year. So, um, you know, obviously our hope is to get it as soon as possible. But if it takes a little bit longer, don't be surprised because things in government, as we all know, take longer 
than we would like. But that doesn't mean that all is lost. We will most likely get a payment um, sooner rather than later. Now, one interesting thing about unemployment I wanted to mention was that in Colorado. Let's take a look at the screenshot where the Colorado Department of Labor and Employment said that they um, extended benefits will be ending early. This is uh, to combat fraud. So a lot of fraudulent uh, claims have been made for unemployment. People are taking advantage of the system. Um, and so because of this, Colorado has actually shut down thousands, ended thousands. Uh, I think it was about 5,000 different claims that they just shut down. And they said they're not going to pay uh, until they work out to make sure that the fraud has been taken care of. So they were in the process and they said that they would get those that are legitimate very soon. But we can see that people are taking advantage of the system, which really hurts those of us that are in a dire need for it. So all of this, it sounds good for things coming in the future, but what about right now? What about how can we pay our bills right now? Well, first, get out there and drive. Um, there's not as many people that are taking rideshare services, but we do see people coming back and you're able to make some money with that. Another thing, if you haven't tried delivering food, um, th this is the best time to get into Uber Eats, or Postmates or Grubhub or whatever the case may be because that is the making a really good amount of money right now. So if you haven't tried that already, make sure that you sign up and get started driving and delivering food right away. And finally, if you didn't see last week's video on ERC or employee retention credit, make sure that you go back, watch that video and find out how you could possibly get $5,000 um, deposited into your account as a tax credit that you don't have to pay back, something that you're able to do right away. We've got everything in there, all the information you need so that you can sign up and get some money so that you can actually pay some bills right away. Um, so make sure that you do that. Uh, make sure you guys are staying safe out there. Wear a mask, wash your hands, do what you need to do, make some money. Now, uh, please subscribe to the channel. We have new videos every single day. We have new uh, videos like this every single week. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, guys, and stay safe out there.